Hello everyone, welcome back. I have a couple more free presets to give away. They'll be in the description below. One is a text that you can put on a wall or an object. Track it right here on the edit page. The other one is a image, a logo or picture. You can track right here on the edit page again and do it all right here without going to fuse it. After you download it, go to effects. Look for SDS, Image and Text Tracker. Drop in your clip, or you can put it on an adjustment clip as well. Turn the Fusion Overlay on. You can put several of these on one clip. It doesn't have to be just one. I'm not at the beginning or the end, so you want to hit Set. When you do, you'll see this turn red, and it'll go away when you start tracking. And when it's done tracking forward, it'll turn red, like right now. Now we'll go backward, and when it turns red, it'll be done tracking. And there we go. I like to check the track before I go any farther. Then go to Operation Mode, Corner Pin. And by default, I have this logo in here. I'm going to show you in a minute how you can put whatever you like right here in the edit page. Well, we have the overlay on. You have your grid. If you want to use that to line it up, see how it tracks. Looks good. You have your normal apply modes and the alpha gain. You can adjust all the corners right here. You change the size, aspect, rotation, and flip. And to change the image, select Browse, and that's all you have to do. If it's a different size, you have to hit this resize. The last one was 400 by 400. Now we'll go to 1500 by 1500. You'll see it's big. Just click this resize button, and there you go. And you can put 16 by 9 aspect ratio in there as well. You might want to spend a little more time lining things up, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to move on. You reset it here. Once you move it, it'll be gone. Now we'll do the text. Same thing to the Fusion Overlay on. Hit set and track. And it's red. We'll track the other way. And it's done tracking. Back up to operation mode and corner pin. I did add a drop shadow to the text preset here. I should show you when you move it around, once you get to the edge of it, it'll disappear. It'll go behind it. And you have the same thing with the aspect. In case you want to make your text tall, angle, outline, thickness, 
or you can disable it. And you can make it larger here too. And if you go to type and select circle, you can have a circle text. Width and size. And obviously the color. There's your apply mode again. And the game will work. I haven't played with it much. I just made them. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.